Well, we're going to take a look at the White Sox taking on the Twins at Target Field. 8.10 p.m. Eastern first pitch. The Twins are minus 165. Totals 9.5 flat. The White Sox are plus 140 on the money line. And if you like Chicago to keep this one close, they're minus 143 catching the run and a half. We got Ronaldo Lopez for the Sox. Jose Barrios for the Twins. Now, Barrios is 2-3 and three with a 4.75 ERA and a 1.47 whip. He's also walked 18 batters in 36 innings of work. The Twins have dropped six out of their last seven and rank in the bottom 10 in the league in home scoring. They're taking on a White Sox team who won 12 out of their last 15, and they are currently tied with the Indians for first place in the AL Central. Chicago is winning nearly 70% of their games on the road this season, and they covered the run line in 12 out of those 16 road contests. Jose Abreu leads the club in hits, homers, and RBI. He smashed a dozen homers and knocked in 32. He's currently tied for second in the big leagues and runs batted in. Tim Anderson's also batting 345, which ranks sixth in the league. He also has an OBP of 385. Now, total-wise, two out of Chicago's last three ball games stayed under the number. Meanwhile, the Twins are currently 82% to the under at home this season. Give me the underdog White Sox plus one and a half and the under nine and a half in that contest. Next matchup, it is going to be Rangers Astros, 8 10 p.m. East at Minute Maid Park. The Astros are minus 215, totals eight and a half juice to the over. The Rangers are plus $1.75 for an outright win. And if you like Texas to cover here, they're minus a buck 20, catching the one and a half on the run line. Colby Allard for the Rangers, Christian Javier for the Astros. Javier's three.